there everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today's video is one that I'm super, super excited for because I'm officially starting the bulk of my Christmas shopping. I do tend to pick up a few bits throughout the year. If I see something that I think is perfect for someone, then I'll get it because I'll never remember it by the time Christmas comes around. I do have a little bit of a list with me today, so I know certain things that I'm buying for certain people, which is really, really good because it will help me from getting sidetracked. But I'm really excited to go shopping. I actually cannot wait i'm feeling so festive this year it's starting to get cold and stuff now so it's getting me in the christmas spirit our first stop of the day is going to be coventry city center because i figured i may as well tackle the big place first and then move on to somewhere smaller so i'm going to bring you all along with me i'll try and film as much as i can in the shops but i think what i'll probably do is catch up with you when i'm in the car or when i'm at home and show you a few examples of things that i've bought so you can take some inspiration from it in case you're looking to buy anything for anybody this christmas so without any further ado, I'm going to get right into the video. I really hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below. And other than that, let's go to town. The Christmas lights fill the city There are people everywhere Snow is falling white and pretty as I stroll. I think all of this Laura Ashley stuff this year in boots is so, so cute. They've got this which I've picked up for my dad's girlfriend, which is a body mist, a nail file and lip balm, all in the little handbag because they're handbag essentials. I just think they are really, really nice to give us a gift. So I'm currently reaching the end of everywhere that I wanted to go to in town. I'm feeling absolutely exhausted, completely forgot that it was a Saturday, so things are quite busy. But I'm just going to stop off at Cafe Nero and get something quick and cheeky for lunch, pick up Charlie's prescription, and then we're going to head to our new exciting location. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever ever spent this long in town before. I've just paid for my car parking and I spent £4 car parking. Yeah, I've got some really good stuff and I'm going to show you guys some of what I picked up. So, in the body shop, I got this lemon hand sanitizer and a patient actually let me use some of their one of these the other day and it just smells absolutely oh it, it's divine it's divine this is six pounds so it's obviously quite pricey for a hand sanitizer but if you want something that smells a little bit nicer definitely pick yourself up some of this that is absolutely incredible i also went into wh smith and i got my wrapping paper and i'm really really happy with it it's obviously a little bit more pricey in wh smith but this glitter on the wrapping paper is biodegradable glitter. So it's obviously much better for the environment. It means that I can recycle it properly. And just look how cute it is. It's got little reindeers all over it and it says Merry Christmas. And I think these were quite expensive. As I say, they were 4 99 each, but they were free for two. So I picked up three sets of wrapping paper from there. In Promark, one of the things that I did pick up, I can show you this because I'm just not going to say who it's for. It's this bread serving kit, which looks so nice. You would never know that I picked that up in Primark. You've got the little uh, olive oil, the balsamic vinegar, the bread seasoning, and then this, what it's lying in, is a bread serving tray. And that was £8, so I'm really, really excited about that. They had other sets of these as well, which was a pizza making set, which I almost picked up. They had ravioli, they had dumplings, and oh, there was something else. Oh, a cheese board cheese board which is obviously very Christmassy but I just thought that was really really cute for eight pounds so third place prime mark there uh, what I was about to show you before that was this jumper this is the only purchase other than the hand sanitizer that I've made for myself um, which is a little bit sad but hey ho we're not here for me and I got this little cable knit jumper in H&M look how cute that is and it's cable knit all the way around this same design 
front and back it was expensive it was 24.99 but i think i got it for 20 pounds because i had a voucher on my h&m membership app but now i did mention on my intercafe nero that i was going to go to another little exciting stop and i'm gonna be quite rushed because it's two o'clock at the minute and i've got plans at six but i'm gonna stop there on the way back because i just feel like b and m have i even said that i'm going to b and m my exciting stuff is b and m surprise i'll obviously bring you guys along with me i always think those trips are very exciting i could have probably done a whole separate b and m video but never mind it is what it is um yeah there's not really much else to say other than the fact that i should probably get the hell out of this car park because i've paid and i don't want to be here too long to get locked in or to have to pay another pound so i'm gonna let you guys go but let's go to b and m And I am finally back home. I honestly cannot believe how long I've been shopping for. I am going to give you a quick cheeky B&M haul of a few things that I picked up. I'm obviously going to be very selective with what I show you again, just in case people that I'm buying for are watching these videos. The first thing being this wax melt holder and how cute is that? So you've got your little wax melt on top, your tea light in the middle, and you'll have all these little gingerbread men on the wall, which I think is really, really cute. I also got these two little tea lights oh sorry i think that was three pounds so not too bad and then for four pounds i got these two little not tea lights i don't know what they're called like when they're small like that but two little candles anyway with wreaths around them this kind of woodlandy icy theme is what we went for last year we're doing it the same again and i just thought that was a really good bargain in bnm so i picked up those and the last little Christmassy bit that I picked up was this mug. Now this is for Charlie because she likes using quirky mugs at work. And this was only £2.50. They also had a little snowman one as well, which I thought was cute. I also picked up this for someone this Christmas. This was also in B&M. I think it's from the new Star Wars movie, which I didn't even know if there was a new Star Wars movie. It's called Star Wars The Mandalorian. And this, as you can see, is just a baby Yoda. It's not very practical in terms of a mug. You can't really get anything in there but it's more just for the novelty of the present and i got these gift bags these christmas gift bags these were 1.99 for free and i don't know how well you'll be able to see but there's different designs so the first one is like merry christmas in white and gold the second one is more of a woodlandy theme and then at the back you've got i really really like this sort of vibe for christmas we'll definitely do this one year but like green and red and very traditional and they're quite a nice size you know in comparison to my head so i don't really know what i'll use them for but i will use them for something yeah unfortunately that is all i can show you because that's the only issue with these come shopping with me is when they're for people i.e charlie that will definitely be sneaky and watch the videos I don't want to show you anything that I've bought for her. But I really, really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you some sort of inspiration for gifts that you could buy for people, whether it's something I've purchased too or something that you've seen in the shops as I've been in there. If you did like it, please give it a like, comment and subscribe down below. And other than that, I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.